The numbers by any stretch are staggering. We just got in the government's monthly jobs report, and it really was uh, a disappointment on, on all counts. I hope for some holiday cheer at the end of this long, tough year. But instead, the unemployment rate last month rose to 9.8 percent. 9.8 percent is the unemployment rate. Our average hourly earnings, no change. By some estimates, that rate, which translates to 15 million people, is actually closer to 20 percent, or 30 million people without a job. The Bureau of Labor Statistics conducts a survey of households to calculate the rate and considers people unemployed if they don't have a job, have actively looked for work in the prior four weeks, and are currently available for work. People like Zach Smith, who we met at the Unemployment Services Office. He was using the computers there to try to find a job. I had to sell my house, get rid of my car. So it's just been a uh, really a very, the most difficult experience I've ever uh, had in my life. He now stays with friends. I have a college degree, good, good skills, good experience. But no income since his unemployment benefits have run out. I don't know how many others there are like me, but there, there may be quite a few, so it's probably a lot worse than the figures are showing. Among those not counted, college graduates who can't find their first job, those who haven't sent out a resume in more than four weeks, and those who simply would never be surveyed because they don't have a landline or a permanent residence. Okay. That includes Washington, D.C. resident Monica, who did not want to give her last name. Out of work for several months, she's so far been ineligible for unemployment benefits and has not yet looked for a new job. She and her young daughter, Aaliyah, live in a friend's basement. When I say hard, it is really hard to take care of my daughter. She says some days she can't even afford to buy food. I want to work. I want to go to a community college, get a good trade to be able to uh, take care of her and myself as well. In the city where the laws of the land are made, a closer look at those left behind. Just one of many heads that have not and most likely will not be counted. The unemployment line. It is an image that came to embody the Great Depression. The time when Franklin Delano Roosevelt took office as president of the United States. So, here at his memorial, it is a permanent reminder of that time in history. But it is a history that, for many Americans, is starting to repeat itself. Reporting in Washington, Christine Frizzau, RT.